Well, more now on the G7 summit with leaders gathering in Italy over the next two days, as well as Russia's frozen assets and geopolitical crises, investing in Africa is also set to be high on the agenda. Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney is expected to announce proposals to support clean energy and food security across the continent. This is part of Maloney's so-called Mate plan released shortly after she took office in 2022, which aims to foster economic growth in Africa and a bid to reduce migrant flows into Italy. So uh, let's bring in on Africa correspondent Jennifer Zabazaja. She's still in Dubai and joins us now in the studio. <laughs> still here. Still here, Jumana. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so to what extent is Africa also going to dominate or feature in the discussions around G7? Right, Jumana. I mean, you mentioned there Maloney's uh, plan going into the summit, but many people are really saying this is a test uh, for that Mate plan, as you were just suggesting there. Uh, and, and so really, uh, you know, the, the focus for her, yes, is clean energy and supporting development on the continent. Uh, but I think it's important to remember uh, that this is really a, a pointed focus for her, right? Mm. And you think about frozen Russian uh, assets in particular and, and how we're seeing the European uh, Union trying to move away from Russian energy. Africa is one of the best sources of clean energy on the continent. And so development is very key to this in terms of Italy being able to import um, more uh, clean energy from the African continent. So that is really, uh, you know, the background focus here. Uh, but for African leaders, there's a lot that they also want to see from this G7 summit. Yeah. I mean, how likely is it to that it's actually going to lead to something uh, material for the continent, right. for the African continent? There's a lot of talk, and we know how yes. these G7 meter meetings tend to go. Yes. They issue a communique, but how likely is it that it's actually followed up with action? Right. I, I, and I think part of the, the pressure that Maloney is facing, it, a lot of it is coming from, uh, obviously, her electorate. They have their migrant flows. Uh, so that is of increasing uh, importance for her to actually show some deliverables. Uh, but also from the African continent, we actually heard from Zambian President Hakainde Hichilema, who said uh, the G7 cannot ignore the African continent, especially when we think about clean energy uh, and we think about the need uh, for clean energy and for the African continent for global development. But not just that, a number of African leaders also know that the G7 nations are the biggest donors uh, to most of these multilateral development banks. A number of African countries dealing with debt need a lot of these banks to be on their side and to support mm. them. Uh, and so Hichilema is really saying this is important for this meeting to focus on this, to focus on reform, uh, and to really put their money where their mouth is, right, when it comes to development uh, and it comes to creating uh, an, a mutually beneficial relationship right? Yeah, I mean, of course, this countries. is a G7 summit, but yeah. uh, it, it, it's become a lot more international. I think Oliver was calling it G14 as well. <laughs> yeah. um, who is going to be represented from Africa? You know, Maloney did uh, invite an unprecedented number of African leaders. We're going to see uh, mainly from North Africa being represented, though. Mm. Uh, we did see South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. He was invited. He was meant to attend. Of he's course. got other things going on. <laughs> I know. Of course, we know what's happening in South yeah. Africa, so he's not going to be attending. Uh, but it's been interesting really to just see how many African leaders are talking about this, really putting out their own columns and statements. Uh, so even if they're not physically present, they're still making sure uh, that they are a part of the agenda. And we know that they are very high up on the list of agenda items. Yeah. 